Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be episode 3 of our long skirt series. And as you've read from the title, we will be making a midi skirt. So for those of you who don't know what a midi skirt is, it's actually a long skirt that reaches up to your calves. So anything past your knees and in between your calves is a midi skirt. Whatever cut it is, it is a midi skirt. So you might get confused on what a maxi skirt is or a midi skirt. A maxi skirt is a skirt that reaches your ankles. So anything past your ankles is a maxi skirt. For today's tutorial, it's very easy. It's a bit similar to our slip skirt that we did last week. And the only difference is the cut. So the midi skirt is a bit flared while the slip skirt is a bit tapered. Now before we get started with the tutorial, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and also hit the notification bell down below so that you wouldn't miss any of my new videos. And let's get started with the tutorial. So to make this skirt, you'd want to fold your fabric into a triangle right sides together like so. By the way, I'm using Mulberry. This is Mulberry in the color mint green and then what you're gonna do next is to have your hip measurement divided by two so this line over here see this this is my hip measurement so make sure that both sides of your triangle is the same length over here on top so from your hip measurement go up to make the waist of your skirt so this is the difference between your hip and your waist you don't need to measure your waist measurement we're just going to leave it alone the important thing here is the distance between your hip to your waist and again both sides over here and over there should be the same length from the top over here so to draw on this curve you'd want to have your tape measure starting here going down to here and all the dots that you make should be the same length and then you draw on the line the same thing over here for the length of our skirt this is by the way 30 inches so we're going to have our tape measure start over here going down to here so again this side and on the other side over there should be the same length the same thing that we did with the waist we're going to go around with the tape measure to make this, this curved line for our skirt now we're just going to cut this and start sewing so once you're done cutting it it should look something like this so this is our skirt now what we're gonna do next is we're going to hem the bottom so this is the hem of our skirt after sewing it on remember to flatten it out with an iron to prevent it from curling up now what we're gonna do next is the zipper of our skirt I already showed you how to sew on an invisible zipper on my previous videos but for those of you who don't know first you need to flatten the zipper out with an iron to prevent it from curling up I mean the zipper teeth and then you're going to place the zipper right sides together with our fabric align it up to the edge over here like so so this is the right side of our fabric and the right side of our zipper aligning it to the edge of our fabric and then we're just going to sew it on as close as possible to the zipper teeth so this is what our zipper looks like after we have attached it so what we're going to do next is we're going to sew this with a straight stitch so we're going to align these two pieces together right sides facing each other and then we're going to sew a straight stitch so this is what it looks like after we have sewed on the side of our skirt make sure to press it down with an iron to um, plan it out so next what we're going to do is the waistband for our skirt and as you can see i already clipped on an elastic this is one and a half inch thick and the measurement for the elastic should be the measurement of your waist do not follow the measurement of the fabric okay guys measure your actual waist guys so to attach the waistband it should be facing right sides together so this is the right side of our skirt as you can see and then the edge of our elastic is lined up to the edge of our zipper so this is the two edge as you can see and then find the center of your skirt so i already made a mark on mine so this is the center of my waistband and then over here you see this fold? This is the center of my skirt. 
So I just pressed it down with an iron to make this fold over here. See that? And then, and then from the zipper, you want to align the fabric and the elastic like so, making sure that it is aligned like that. By the way, the elastic could be shorter than the fabric, so make sure that you pull it while you clip it on. Now we're just going to sew a straight stitch all around to secure this in place. So once you're done sewing it on, it should look something like this. So that's what it looks like. Now what we're gonna do next is we're going to flip this. So once you flip it, it should look something like this. And then you want to sew it on to the zipper like this to keep it in place. Don't sew it onto the fabric like so. Just sew it on to the zipper. So once you're done, it should look something like this. So this is our finished skirt. Now you might be wondering why I put an elastic and also a zipper on the skirt. That's because this fabric is not that stretchable and the elastic is there to give more structure to the waistband also so that it could fit your waist better so just a comparison guys this blue one is the skirt that we made last week this is the silk slip skirt bias slip skirt and then this one is what we made right now so as you can see this is the difference the blue one has a more straighter cut and then the green one is more flared. So this is our skirt. And as you can see, it's right on our belly button. And this is our waistband. And we have the zipper over here on the side. This is the front. And this is the back. So as you can see, the draping of the skirt is really nice. It just follows the shape of your body really well. See? And that is it for our tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned a lot from this. It's a bit similar to our episode 2. For those of you who haven't watched the first and second episode of our long skirt series, go ahead and check them out. I'll link them down below. Also, stay tuned for the upcoming videos next week. I'll be posting more long skirt DIYs. So yeah, that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it and if you do, please hit like. Also, for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell down below so you wouldn't miss any of my new videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!